Welcome to the American Dream TV and our partially finished new custom home. We are at a very crucial stage and we really want our viewers to see what you should be looking for during this process of a pre-sheetrock walkthrough. We're going to talk to our builder, Stone Cottage Construction, about the most important things to catch right now. This is a really overwhelming process, so hopefully we don't have any surprises on camera. Of course, these things aren't gonna happen to us because we've done this many times and we do have such an amazing builder. Let's go take a peek. All right. All right, one of the things that we think is very important for our clients that are building a home is to meet with their builder and do what's called a pre-sheetrock walkthrough. You really wanna look at everything that's being put into the home and make sure that everything's perfect before that sheetrock goes in and closes everything up. Yeah, and this is a live construction site right now. They're putting in the uh, heating components, plumbing, so there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's, it's pretty noisy in here and a lot of activity. We're gonna take a look around, make a list of things that we think we wanna talk about, and then we'll wait for our builder, Brian, to show up, and he'll walk through everything with us, and I'm sure he'll find things that we didn't even see. Hey, Brian. Whoa, how, how are you? How are you doing? Good, good to see you. Good hey, to see Brian. You. I'm excited to do our pre sheet rock walkthrough. Me too. I'm glad you could meet me out here. So I've got a few things I want to show you and I'd love to take a look around. Awesome. Excellent. We noticed a couple small things, but uh, between you and us, we're going to get this thing perfect. You bet. Want to start upstairs? Sure thing. We can't express why people need to do this more than to say things can get missed, things can get overlooked. Everybody has different visions of what things are gonna look like with their, when they're done. And we're just happy that you can do this with us. Obviously we know how it goes, we've done this before, but for your average buyer, we think it's very important for you to be here with them, to talk through everything, and for them to have their realtor with them, just as that extra set of eyes. Yeah, the big important things that we're looking for when we're doing these walkthroughs are things like, where's the plumbing? HVAC, where is that going? Doors and windows, electrical, low voltage. Those are the main points that I like to focus on when we're walking through the house. Absolutely. Well, this master bedroom is a great example. You're gonna wanna know where your heat vents are and tell me, hey, Brian, we might put a piece of furniture there. Can we move it over? We've got a plumbing pipe that was put in the wall here. Oh boy. And I know you're putting a TV on the wall and I believe there's a media box that's got a recess into the wall. Is this gonna be in a problem location? I think so, right? Definitely, yeah. And can, this is really we, the only area to put the TV in the bedroom. Can, so. we, can we move that over here? We can. I wanna let the plumber know that we gotta move that over, it can be done, and it's a lot easier now than after sheetrock. Absolutely. I wanted to take you to the laundry hookups and just verify this. Just last week, we completed another home for some customers. They had told us initially they were getting an electric dryer. Somewhere along the way, they switched to a gas dryer and now they don't have a gas line in their laundry room. Oh boy. What I've got here are your specs for your washer and dryer. It says we're putting gas in. Is that what we're doing? That's correct. Great. And I see that you even have them stacked because I know well, previously we were gonna do them side by side and we kind of switched it at the last moment so they're stacked. So another important thing in these walkthroughs is like making sure that the windows and the doors are in the right places. Uh, we noticed the other day when we were here that this window is a little low. Yeah, I was here with one of our shorter friends and she was able to see out of it, but I can't. <laughs> so tell us what's gonna happen there, the pros and cons of catching it now. Absolutely. That window is in the location that the blueprint showed it was gonna be in. But 
for you and your enjoyment of the home, we can raise that window. We can raise it now at no cost to you. If you decide to wait two, three months from now, it's gonna get expensive. Yeah, we don't want that. And I think that's a good thing to point out because yes, it was correct on the blueprints, but it's also really hard for people, especially who haven't been through this, to look in, even us who have been through it a lot, to look at the blueprints and go, oh, that looks a little low. Because when you're not in the space, it, it doesn't really look low on the blueprints. Brian, we're down here in the lower level and I know everything is done perfect per plan. I've looked at everything already, but there's a few things I want to change. Is it okay if we go through those? What you got? <laughs> All right, so below the stairs here, I know that's historically just storage for most people, Right. but you guys came up with a great idea. You made our stairs a lot wider. So the space under the stairs is significant and the sump basket is right where it's supposed to be but we want to move it back a little bit so that we can put a wine rack in here. Thoughts on that? I think we can move it further back underneath the stairs. I may only be able to move it three or four feet. That's all I need. Is that gonna give you enough? Plenty, yeah, all that's right. all I need. School of hard knocks, where I'm from. So when I get a drink, I go dumb. Got a lot of swag, been stored up. Could've let it out, been caught up. All right, another part of a home that not a lot of people put a lot of thought into is that garage. And I am, as you know, super passionate about my garage. In this garage, we did floor drains, we did a furnace, and we did very oversized garage doors because I have that uh, big truck that Julie does not like. <laughs> she, she's only ridden it once, promises she'll never ride in it again but it's got dual rear wheels. Whether you have a boat or a bigger truck or like a van or something like that, and you have people that maybe knock mirrors off the side of their vehicles when they drive in, that won't happen here. So to us, it's very important. It's gonna be a great garage. I got that new thing, new style, new walk. I got that new vibe, new grip, new talk. Been traveling around the world and ain't nobody quite like me. Thank you, Brian. And I just want to reiterate how important it is to have a builder that understands exactly what people are looking for and to have a realtor along for the day with you or the whole ride with you, but just the people that are really there to represent you to make sure nothing gets missed. Yep. And to recap what we look for in these pre-sheetrock walkthroughs is where's the plumbing going? Where's the HVAC? Where's the electrical and low voltage? And then where are those windows and doors going? How is their placement? Do we want to make any changes? So important. Thank you again, Brian. Thank really you. appreciate it. Good to see you again. Thanks so much. Thanks, Julie. We'll see you soon.